I know I told you we were going to have computer effects for this episode, but a pack of dolphins is just not going to happen. <sighs> not with that attitude, it's not. You didn't even let me get to the denouement yet. A denouement? What, do you fall asleep with James Lipton on again? <laughs> yeah, I can't help it. I mean, the guy's so soothing. He's like the new Bob Ross. All right, well, look. Denouement. You guys are all on the beach. Boom! Crack of thunder and lightning. Cue this guy, okay? I'm talking horseback. Shirt off, sweaty, jacked, some sort of chainmail type armor on me, battle axe in hand, goatee, tan as shit. Obviously. Okay, I'm here to save the day. From what? Our guest comic? Miles, am I gonna have to be a tough ass on you? Shut up! No. You know what, Miles? I'm tired of your bullshit, all right? It's been your idea to go along on this little adventure. It's bad enough that I let you drag me into it, but now you drag Meg into it too? She's been nothing but great. And how are you gonna repay her? By being a freaking little girl and walking away? You know what, dude? Come to think of it, you've always been somewhat of a coward. The bus, the tunnels, the bum. You know what, I thought we could put aside our differences. It seems to me you're just too damn immature. Enough! Why can't you just admit that what you did to me was wrong? Sending me down there, in the cellar? <sighs> Compared to everything you put me through, that day doesn't even come close to it! You're wrong and you know it, Miles. Now you just don't want to regret something else for the rest of your life, do you? Are you sure this kid you got, your cousin, is what I'm looking for over here? Sal, when have I ever let you down and recommended an employee to you? How about the past seven people? They didn't even last a month. What now, every time someone fucks up in here, now that's my fault, it's gonna be on me? Well, it is when you tell me, Sal, you gotta hire this kid. I mean, you recommended them. You voucher for them. Their fuck-ups are on you, pal. Look, I don't care what you say. Those guys, they're good people, all right? I still stand by every single one of those guys. Still stand by them. Even the kid Paulie, who tried to rob me for five pounds of bajut at the palm, he put it under his jacket, tried to walk out the store. And what about the kid Frankie? That dumbass, he tried to rob a truck in broad daylight. He tried to steal a case of soda. I mean, these kids, your friends, they're criminals. And they're not even good ones. All right, fine, I'll give you all that. But Sal, this is a different situation. <laughs> Nicky, he's my flesh and blood. He's my cousin, for Christ's sake. Oh, your cousin. Just like the Puerto Rican kid, Willie really was your cousin too? <laughs> no, Willie really wasn't my cousin. I look, man, I had to say something for you to hire him, right? Look, I owed Willie a little bit of money. You need another guy for a night shift. I figured, boom, two birds, one stone. It's not my fault it didn't work out. Look, I know you don't believe me, but this time it's real, all right? Nikki is my flesh and blood. He's a martel. You know what that means. <laughs> yeah, he ain't gonna do shit and act like he owns the place. No asshole, it means you're getting the best. It means you're getting someone with a passion for the job. See, Sal, when you hire a Martell, you get excellence. You get dignity, you get pride, you get a guy with his head on his shoulders. You get exactly what you need for a night manager. But the shit, I mean, it just keeps pouring out of your mouth. <laughs> you never give me an ounce of credit in this damn place. I mean, I helped you build this thing from the ground up with my bare hands, for crying out loud. What are you talking about? This place has been here since 1956. You know what I mean. This place was a shithole before I got here, all right? So far, it's only killed animals. Yeah, then why'd they come after me? I have no idea. You know this is gonna take a while, right? I'm not going anywhere. 